Okay. So you know what this is. This isn't a drive-by. It's a walk-by. I'm just going to walk along. <coughs> Here's um, some typical gardens, some lovely hydrangeas, and people here love their gardens very much, and they take a lot of trouble with them. Look at this one, don't you love that? I never realized that actually planting white hydrangeas under your windows is how you get light into the house because as you can see there's a big tree here so there's a lot of shade on this house but the sun just strikes those hydrangeas over there and it throws a great pool of light which must bounce into the house and you see they've got the most beautiful white painted gates and a lovely white painted front door down there and then you go on to the next house and that's got a beautiful garden too I mean, they have lovely gardens at the back as well, these houses. But it's classic Georgian. And uh, gosh, that's a beautiful great bay tree. That's enormous. I never realized it was a bay. <laughs> anyway, it's such a beautiful little entrance. Doesn't that look inviting? You really want to go down there. But I won't, even though I'm terrible about walking into people's properties. <laughs> I like them and taking photographs of them. You see, there we are, and then we get along to the next one. <coughs> We're walking past beautiful old trees. This one's even more grown over, you can hardly see it. So we have to get to it this way round and walk past into the driveway. And then there's a, an Art Deco one here, quite a big Art Deco house, which is nice, but it's a little bit too austere for me. I like something a little bit more cottage gardeny. I'm a fan of Gertrude Jekyll, the great English cottage garden designer. But this is a little bit too much like a mini Versailles. I mean, it's not, of course, but it's, it's all a bit tidy. Here's another one with a glorious, glorious colour. Look at it. Isn't that fantastic? But the rest of it's gone a bit woof. But then it is late July, so there aren't so many flowers out anymore. <coughs> That's what happens around here. Anyway, on we go, past the plane trees, beautiful London plains, <coughs> some of which have been pollarded, so this one's cut right back every year, and it's sort of come out, but it's much, much smaller than it would be, and all the trees down this street have been pollarded the same way. <coughs> car coming. Ah, it's an American car. <laughs> People quite like those huge things. I think they're Chryslers. They're rather nice. They're, um, they're, they look a bit like a Bentley, but they're a lot cheaper. And uh, actually, I've, I've always found that American cars are very nice to ride in. They're lovely and smooth, so people like them. <coughs> and then the park continues, or the, the common as it's called, because it is common land granted by the king years ago so that nobody can touch it or build it and the local council maintains it and mows the lawn and grass and everything, which is wonderful. And uh, it's lovely, you can find foxes in here and all sorts of birds and crows. When we walk the dog, Coco, we always bring some extra biscuits and feed the crows who come flapping down and fight over the, the bits. <laughs> <clears throat> and we walk along, I walk along here. I'm normally walking quite fast. I try to do a sort of little power walk just for a bit more exercise. Um, but I'm not going to do that now because I'd be making a lot of puffing noises. <clears throat> Litter bins, red bin for the dogs. Who? <clears throat> and then we can go all sorts of different ways. There are all sorts of... You see the dog walkers out. There's a nice... There's a post box in the corner. Do you see the typical post box over there? 
and these lovely red setters. <coughs> Here we are, typical old Victorian post box. I often post my postcards and things in there. Can't see it very well because of the light. <coughs> More quiet streets, a few cars around. Alexa's coming up. I used to have one of those, but it was too big for Ayaka. She kept scraping it on things. So I swapped it for two Priuses instead. <laughs> and um, here we are. Oh, look at this chap. Isn't he gorgeous? Beautiful. <clears throat> Hello, morning. It's a woman I often see when I'm out walking. So she, she greets me, which is nice. <clears throat> then we're off down this path. The only problem these days is there are so many cyclists and I don't know what's happened to cycles. When I used to ride cycles when I was young we had a bell but nobody has a bell anymore and so you suddenly find a cycle coming whipping past you and you had no idea it was there. And if you just take sort of one sideways step or something you could be completely wiped out. Anyway, let's worry about things like that. Beautiful along here, lots of lovely stinging nettles, but they still mow the edge of the path nicely so that you don't have to walk in them if you don't want to. And you see it's very old, beautiful old trees. I mean, this park dates back to 17 something. Um, most of it belonged to the Spencer family originally and the Bowling Brooks. Um, the Spencer family, you know, Lady Diana Spencer who became the famous Lady Di, or Princess Di. So the Spencers owned most of this at one time. But it's rather lovely. And completely unspoiled, really. A few benches around so that you can sit and... Can you hear the crow? They're probably complaining because they... I bet you anything they know me. And they say, where the hell's our food? Why haven't you brought the dog biscuits? What a waste of time this is. <laughs> they're really complaining like mad. Look at it. They're flying overhead. They're, they're mobbing. They're almost mobbing me. You can't quite see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I shall have to put some more in my pocket next time when I come out. So now we go off down here. There are lots of different paths we could take and we could cross over a big main road and go into a much larger section of the park, but it has few trees. And you walk down this little track. Good morning. And on. The woman looked rather unhappy. I've never seen her before. But she probably thinks she owns it. <laughs> anyway, there we are. And... Um, it's a little bit wet because it's been raining all this week and today is really the first sunny morning for several days. And you go down, you can see it's, there's still water lying in muddy puddles. And you have to crouch a bit under some of the trees. But it's so beautiful. The smell is wonderful. That lovely smell of rich loam and leaves and wet and the cawing of the crows. There's really nothing more beautiful. Well, there probably is, but <clears throat> there are so many beautiful things. Look at this old tree coming up. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And I don't really know what it is. It's an oak. But which type, I don't know, because oaks don't usually grow quite like that. It's, I mean, they're very horizontal growing, but this one is more than I expect. Really wonderful. Now down off here, lots of clear ground. You 